Now let's start some practical work and we want the BPEL perspective open perspective other and we want active BPEL okay we've got the project explorer view on the left our main process editor interfaces and process variables an outline view <clears throat> when we've got something to show here and properties and problems view our next task then is to create our new orchestration project and what are we calling that echo I think People echo and we're using the default locations and if we now look we've got a folder structure set out ready and we've got the now I wasn't expecting to see that there uh, because I've already done this and it was going to do it again hmm Now we will start a new project. So file new orchestration project and we'll call it BPAL Echo. And we'll use default locations. And if we look at this in the Project Explorer, we can see we've a lot of empty folders set up we want to import the files that we've downloaded in zip format if we right click we can import archive file browse for the file and we want the BPL echo project zip and if I click on schema there's the echo message XSD and there was still we've got the echo was the which is correct so we can finish and straight away we can see that in the schema we've now got the xsd file and in the was we've now got if we look at the project explorer we can see that all the components of the was are present and if we look at the interface at the port types we can expand that as well and see the input and output parameters are set now we want to go back to BPEL and we want 
a new BPEL process. And we want to name it in some way that makes sense. Creating the process. And we're showing errors, but that's to be expected at the moment. Right, we've got the BPL process, and if we go to the source, we can see that we have got a namespace. And there's the namespace that we set up earlier. So not much there yet. And if we look at the problems screen and look at the errors, it's missing activities and it's no activity designed designated to create an instance. So that's what we would expect at this stage. So I'm back to being how we want to add the message exchange activities and we're going to take this node and drag it onto the main screen we're going to define the activity type as a BPL activity creating a partner link type and we've got to give it a name So that should identify it. Partner link type, BPL echo partner link type, and the role is the echo service provider. And we need to save this and we're going to add it to the WSDL file and then we finish the activity type Receive reply is already set. And finish. And now these icons are indicating what we have set up on the main screen. Now that we've got the receive and reply set up, if we look in the outline view, we can see that this is now populated with all the different components that have been set up automatically. If we right click
we can see properties and in the properties view we can give this activity a name and we're going to give this the name client request message and we can do the same on the reply properties and what are we going to call this client response message Right. Let's save everything we've done so far. Now we need the palette of options that are hidden on the right hand side of our Eclipse screen. And under the activities, we want the assign activity, which we're going to drag out into between our request and response and we're going to give it a name copy request to response Copy request to response. Now we need to link these together, and we want the link tool. Click on the client request message activity. Click on it. Copy request to response. Click on it. And we've got the arrowhead produced. And we're going to click on copy request to response again. And then on the client response message. And again, we've got the arrow. And if we just click on selection, that releases that tool. Right, we've now defined the sequence of activities. So the client request message receives the message. It's handled by the request to response. And we should get an action from the response. Um, somewhere there is an auto layout function. Click mouse on some empty space. Auto layout. There we are. Let's tidy it up. And 
we'll save that. And on saving it, my image here now matches the images in the instructions, which was worrying me a little bit because the arrow was being shown in a different place, but now we're the same. Now <clears throat> we're going to deal with the copy operation and I'm going to double click on copy request to response. I want a new copy operation, type variable from echo request type variable to echo response and because it's a very simple operation we don't need to fill in the um, rest of the details so click on OK and click on OK.